Uh, turning now to Sunday's deadly shooting at an outdoor concert, it could have been much worse. Authorities in Las Vegas had new details on the ammunition the shooter used, the hunt for anyone else who could have helped that shooter, and the search, as we mentioned, for his motive and any possible ties to any other groups. Correspondent Dan Springer has the latest developments from Las Vegas. Another day, and despite running down more than a thousand leads, investigators still have no answers about why Las Vegas shooter Stephen Paddock did what he did. While some of it has helped create a better profile into the madness of this suspect, we do not still have a clear motive or reason why. We all want answers. We have looked at everything, literally. They again contend there's no sign of terrorism. We're also aware, of course, that ISIS has repeatedly claimed responsibility, which today I can tell you that we have no known nexus to. As vigils for the victims of the Las Vegas shooting continue, we do know more about what else Paddock may have been planning. A law enforcement official says that Paddock purchased 1,000 rounds of tracer ammunition a month ago from a private seller at a Phoenix gun show. Tracer rounds, which contain a pyrotechnic charge that leave an illuminated trace of their path when fired to ensure accuracy, were found in Paddock's sniper's perch at the Mandalay Bay Hotel. Police also found a document containing the name of the man who sold him the ammunition in early September. Other cities remain on alert as investigators look at Paddock's interest in attacking additional areas. Boston police say authorities will step up security for concerts and sporting events amid news that Paddock research sites in and around Fenway Park and the Boston Center for the Arts. The FBI reached out to us to let us know Boston was on the radar screen. We just have information that he was on possible sites looking at Boston, but there's nothing to indicate he ever made it here or he was ever stepped foot in Boston. While officials still haven't been able to establish a motive for Paddock's actions, focus is still on his girlfriend, Mary Lou Danley. There are reports that say she's told the FBI he was experiencing mental health symptoms and would lie in bed moaning and screaming. Despite that, investigators are acknowledging the unprecedented nature of the case. In the past, terror attacks or mass murder incidents, motive was made very clear, very clear in most of those cases by a note that was left, by a social media post, by a telephone call that was made, by investigators mining computer data. Today, in our investigation, we don't have any of that uncovered. I wish we did. And that lack of a clear motive, clearly frustrating to everyone, especially the police. Some good news, though. Five days after this carnage, several people, dozens in fact, left area hospitals today. They're down to 59 still getting treatment, 26 in critical condition. And tomorrow, Brett, Vice President Mike Pence shows up here for a unity walk as Las Vegas tries to grieve and that can then get beyond this uh, terrible, terrible tragedy. Brett. Dan Springer live in Las Vegas. Dan, thank you.